pain you hear that, your heart's barely beating. You couldn't even take several steps with your long, frail legs. At the same time, your body looks puffed and your face is swollen. You rub your protruding eyes with your hands but still can't see a thing. Do you think something terrible happened to you? No, this is roughly what people born in zero gravity of space stations will look like in the future. And those who will come into the world on other planets will differ from Earthers even more. Let's assume people did colonize the whole of the solar system. So how would you look if you weren't born on Earth? It's dark and quiet in your apartment. You're sleeping blissfully and nothing promises trouble. Suddenly, in your sleep, you feel something heavy press on your chest and some sticky substance dribbles on your face. When you open your eyes, you see bright blinding light and then huge protruding eyes. Don't be afraid, it's just a cat. You overslept your work and your pet's starving. The alarm clock failed. Nor did the sun's rays wake you up as the atmosphere of Jupiter where you were born mainly consists of dense layers of hydrogen and helium. Because of this, the planet is completely covered with thick mist and light here scatters, only creating an even dim glow. But your cat has its own lamp on its head, so it lights you the way to the kitchen to have its portion of cat food as soon as possible. Jupiter resembles a hydrogen ocean, so animals here closely resemble different underwater creatures. Since on this planet, the ability to see in the dark is of no use to your cat, it developed a filament on its head, like those found in female deep sea anglerfish. It contains bioluminescent bacteria, owing to which the filament shines in the dark as a tiny light bulb. That's just the thing for foggy Jupiter. The big googly eyes help the cat see at least a little clearer. Even though the kitchen is in the adjacent room, the trip there will take a while. Because Jupiter's gravity is 2.5 times stronger than on Earth, people living here move much slower. Running and jumping are beyond even the most athletic of Jupiterian strength. Halfway through, you recall you're late for work and turn around toward the bathroom to tidy yourself up. You stumble all the time and barely keep your balance. The thing is that you've rented an apartment in a building that stands on a floating platform. It keeps afloat owing to the nonstop traction and uses Jupiter's atmosphere as fuel. It was the most optimal variant for structures on the colonized planet which lack solid surfaces. However, people in the apartments sometimes feel seasick. You wash yourself and brush your teeth, studying yourself in the mirror. You're quite a handsome human isopod. The people here share numerous features with underwater animals. Thus, evolution made sure a human would feel at ease in the local environment. You borrowed the hard chitin shell from the crustacean isopods. Here, it protects you from Jupiter's radiation. The membranes between your fingers, like those found in frogs, help you maneuver through the thick layers of hydrogen. Owing to the high pressure and density of the atmosphere, your body has a broader and more massive outline than Earthers. By the way, you're going to weigh a lot, but not because of your enormous biceps. It's just that Jupiter's mass is 316 times greater than Earth's. And because of this, planet's gravity is higher and its people are a lot heavier. For instance, if your weight on Earth was, say, 68 kilograms, on Jupiter, with the same body structure, you're going to be 159 kilograms. Also, due to the high concentration of methane in the planet's atmosphere, your skin looks blue. This is because the gas absorbs most of the red and yellow beams, admitting only the blue part of the spectrum. They're calling you from work. The video link shows your boss from the head office situated on Venus. The only creatures capable of surviving on this planet are germs, and its atmosphere contains phosphine, which is toxic to anything that breathes oxygen. That's why she looks like an amoeba with numerous pseudopodia instead of legs. She's outraged because you're late again. 
and you'd better not anger her because Venus residents live suffering from never-ending headaches. This is because the pressure on Venus is the same as if you dove two kilometers deep into an ocean on Earth. The boss shouts at you furiously, but she sounds somewhat like Scrooge McDuck. Venus's thick atmosphere carries sound faster than Earth's. As a result, the voice resonates on a higher frequency, becoming squeaky. Your boss's resentment might sound very funny, but you understand it's not a joke, and you risk getting fired unless you show up at your workplace now. It's gonna be a total disaster since you were planning to finally buy a ticket to the entertainment complex, which soars in the upper layers of Jupiter's atmosphere. The only thing you see for days is the dull mist. But up there, from the complex's viewing platform, you can see the satellites, which count to a total of 95, and the beautiful variegated bands crossing the planet. And the most beautiful thing, Jupiter's rings. Having forgotten to feed your cat, you urgently jump into your hover car and rush to work. However, the local weather conditions are most often unfavorable for commuting. Powerful winds, thunderstorms, flashes of lightning. Hold up, are you even looking at the road? In a hurry, you took a wrong turn and found yourself in the famous Great Red Spot. It's a gigantic storm on Jupiter of 16 and a half thousand kilometers in diameter, which has been raging for over 300 years. Your vehicle is damaged and the windshield is cracked. As a result, it breaks and you fall out. The gases that make up Jupiter are under intense pressure. So you're crushed in a second. Can you get any luckier on another planet? You wake up after a daytime nap for the 30th time this day. It's just that the length of a day on Mercury, where you were born, equals 59 days on Earth. In total, a year here consists of 88 Earth days. This is because the planet is closest to the Sun. Nevertheless, it's cool in your bedroom, though outside the colony, it's an absolute hell. The daytime temperature on the planet can reach as high as 430 degrees Celsius. Renting a home on Mercury didn't come cheap since building the colony required unbelievably expensive materials. Scientists developed new thermal insulating materials to keep room temperatures similar to that on Earth. As even aerogel, a porous material with extremely low thermal conductivity, which is used in the space industry on Earth, melted here. Apart from it, your home is fitted with the newest special cooling systems to prevent the electronics from overheating. The walls of the colony are incredibly thick, as the mercury weather is like in London because of the constant showers. However, here, they are meteor showers. So on mercury, you won't have a chance to take a melancholy walk in the rain with an umbrella and radio head songs in your earbuds. You head for the bathroom to tidy yourself up. There's no water in the tap again. Here, they extract it from ice, which is contained on the planet's poles. It can only be found in those mercury craters that are in permanent shadow. In brief, water on this planet is a very expensive and limited resource, but you can do without it. To wash up, you'll most probably need isopropyl alcohol solution, which is perfect for polishing metal. The thing is that the people of Mercury look like hybrids of Terminator and Edward Cullen. To protect your body from the strong ultraviolet radiation and high temperature, your skin has grown thicker than Earthers. Besides, it contains metallic elements which help reflect solar radiation. You don't need a respiratory system here as Mercury has no atmosphere, so your metal face has no nose, and your eyes resemble thick and wide sunglasses. Otherwise, you'd simply go blind since the sun on Mercury shines six times brighter than on Earth. Oh, your phone's ringing. You shouldn't be scared, it's only a pizza guy. His accent reveals he's not local. 
He arrived here from Titan to do a side job. His frightening voice is a distinctive feature of all Titanians. The thick cold air of his home satellite slows down the vibration of vocal cords and the speed of the sound they produce, making the voice deeper and adding rasp to it. You're out on your lawn, but beware as your pet turtle is hopping somewhere around, though it'd be hard not to notice it. Most animals on the planet have white fluffy fur which reflects light well, protecting their skin from solar radiation. Also, Mercurian turtles have very long tongues as chameleons do. The animals need them to drink water from underground springs or deep crevices in craters. And yes, the local turtles, as well as the people, can jump three times higher than Earth. This is because Mercury is about three and a half times smaller than our planet, while its gravity is the same as on Mars. But you forget all about your turtle and the fact you were hungry once you see that the knothead pizza guy hit your mailbox. In the blink of an eye, you furiously raise his car above your head and hurl it so far that it disappears from view. Thanks to gravity, you can easily lift heavy objects on Mercury. You begin running towards the unlucky pizza guy when all of a sudden, your neighbors seem to have called the police. Yes, even on Mercury, you're supposed to behave as a reasonable person who controls their emotions and never uses force to solve problems. You use massive leaps trying to flee, but you can't live on the run and you'll never make it outside the colony. Life on this planet is a tricky thing too. Is there really no place for you in this universe? Despite it being nighttime, you're not sleeping. A view of stunningly beautiful polar lights opens up from your apartment window. You absolutely love sitting like this for hours and watching the sky. Besides the polar lights, no less fascinating is Pluto's satellite Charon, which is very close to the planet. For comparison, a person on Earth looking at the full moon can cover it with the thumb of an extended arm, but to cover Charon standing on Pluto, you'll need the whole of your fist. But alas, this is the only thing you like about this dwarf planet. Apartments on Pluto are the cheapest, as life here is unbearable and there's virtually no demand for real estate here. And the cause for this lies in the fact that Pluto is the most distant object from the sun. Temperatures here are extremely cold and can fall as low as minus 240 degrees Celsius, which is why the planet is covered with ice. On top of that, the radiation level here is high. The Pluto government and elite dwell in mansions built under the ice. The thing is that there's an ocean of liquid water under Pluto's surface and it's a perfect place to live. The elite's apartments resemble aristocrats' bunkers on Earth, but on Pluto, they're rigged with powerful heaters and oxygen supplies. There are regular houses, restaurants, gyms, and casinos down here. It's just that all of the surrounding walls are warmed with thermal insulation. However, due to the lack of natural light sources, the people here look like naked mole rats, though dressed. Local tycoons enjoy comfortable living, which is hardly your case. Your ancestors settled on Pluto a couple of centuries ago. As ordinary workers, they were given houses and settlements on the surface of the planet. These are simple huts carved in rock and resembling caves. As time passed, the human outlines changed and the body gradually adapted to the planet's bitter cold and other conditions. Now, you have such an appearance that you don't want to look in the mirror. While on other planets, people grew more massive and athletic, you look very frail. Pluto's gravity is a lot lower than Earth's, meaning that someone weighing 40 kilograms on Earth would be 3 kilograms on Pluto. Moreover, the low gravity makes muscles and bones fade and thin. As a result, the spaces between vertebrae increase. Despite making you taller, it also damages your posture since your backbone mostly loses its functions. In short, you look like a tall, thin, and slouching spider-like creature. 
This might be the reason why everybody thinks only losers live on Pluto, which, however, is hard to say about Mars. The alarm clock goes off. You spring out of bed and get ready in exactly one minute. Today's an important and responsible day. You're going to war. Inhabitants of Mars have been planning this attack on Saturn for a long time. The reason is that Saturn's satellites are rich in various resources. For example, on Titan, there have been found lakes and seas consisting of liquid methane, while the rest of the moons have iron, magnesium, aluminum, and silicon. However, not only do Saturnians not use them themselves, but they also refuse to share them. Destroying those people won't be difficult. This is because Saturn, just like its gaseous neighbor Jupiter, is a giant cloud of hydrogen and helium without solid ground and with powerful winds. This implies that people on the planet resemble jellyfish. You can only live in Saturn's dense atmosphere if your body resembles a jelly-like bell that contracts and extends. Martians make fun of them, calling them spineless, since, owing to high pressure on Saturn, its inhabitants have never developed a skeleton. Unlike them, you, a Martian, are tall and sturdy. This is how you resist Mars's weak gravity, which here is 38% lower than on Earth's surface. To protect your skin from radiation, your body produces not melanin like on Earth, but carotenoids. These are pigments that give carrots, tomatoes, and oranges their color. So you look as if you are blazing with bright flames, like larflees from DC Comics. Considering Mars is a dusty, rocky, cold desert, all you could be doing here was perfecting your physical fitness. But you're not an ordinary soldier, but also a military dog handler. Dogs on this planet are no less muscular and strong than their owners. They're also dark orange and have little antennas on the head, which are necessary to better trap at least some sunlight. Because to enable the growth and durability of bones, all living organisms must receive vitamin D, which helps the body absorb calcium and phosphorus. You spent the recent years training numbers of dogs to attack Saturnians and tear their slick jellyfish bodies to pieces. And of course, on top of all that, your army is outfitted with the most up-to-date weapons. Mars is rich in metal deposits and other resources, which makes the planet's arms industry thrive. So here you are, armed to the teeth, approaching Saturn on your spaceships, when suddenly your radars locate hundreds of strange flying objects emerge in your way. You see an atomic explosion through your porthole, and a few moments later, it hits you. This is how Earthers with nuclear weapons and space drones have destroyed the most powerful army in the solar system. But you shouldn't believe the kind humans decided to save Saturn. They're also after its resources. It turns out these parasites are not content having settled most of the planets with the human race. Earthers want to make the most of the solar system. Which life would you like to live? Would you try to flee Pluto and find a more promising job? Or would you attempt to win Saturn back from Earthers? Write in the comments.